What is up guys, this is Kobe here and welcome to episode 13 of the funding guide. Now, we have just advanced the fifth job <laughs> a while back actually, because we are in uh, we're in April now, I haven't recorded an episode in a while, so glad to be back, although there might be another bit of a short hiatus after this episode because I am recording this before going to the Maple Fest this weekend, um, so... Basically, what I want to talk about in this episode is something very important that you will have all the way up to end game, and I feel on GMS it is a very, very big requirement. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about, well, first off, getting to know friends and buddies and guilds and whatnot. If you haven't really been doing it already, um, there is, you know the chance to be able to do it right now or you know in any time actually so if you've made it this far without getting help from others i do want to say congratulations you do know how to play the game independently that's always good um but it is about time that you actually kind of start buddying up with some people and then getting to know some others um now luckily for me i kind of have the advantage of this part because i have had i have added buddies throughout my GMS career since I started the Xenon, and then I joined a guild with close friends. It's not an active one, it's, but it's a, uh, a guild with friends that I talk to on the regular, so um, that's, you know, just kind of that right there. You can join active guild. Active guilds are a lot better in a situation of a newer player, um, because basically, y'all will be able to help each other out. And with that, I have two things in mind that you two should really help each other out with. Now, first thing would be Khmer CPQ. CPQ. Uh, this is something I probably should have covered in episode 7, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it right now. But before that, apparently I'm in the middle of a hot week. Uh, what day is this? Is this Wednesday? So, damn, that means I missed Monday. Or, I don't know if it's out on Sunday, or I don't, I don't even know. Uh, what is in today's box? Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is golden. Um... Character slot coupons. You can just make characters, go to Battle Reversi, and then, you know, get get 200 coins, and whenever you can, just go down to the special slot, buy a character. That's how Okay, that's going to be on its own little thing right there, because this the Star Squad 13 event is going to be going on for a while. I completely just hit the nail on the head right there. In fact, let me go ahead and buy one right now because character slot coupons for the future of the funding guide, it's a requirement. I kid you not. This is a big, heavy requirement, and I feel that you need to do this on your characters. Please, please let me over to try again. Okay. Um, but yeah, just, you know, there are 42 character slots in the game, 43 this summer. So just keep that in mind. I think I have 10 slots right now. So using this will be my 11th. Um, so I do have long ways, a long way to go for my slots and whatnot. But take advantage of these character slot coupons. Um, I will shortly make a video over how you should be farming them. Uh, little Star Squad 13 character slot guide. This event ends on... Okay, May 15th. So a month. So a month to be farming these, and there's two seasons, so I believe they will reset on April 25th for the second season, which comes Petite Planet, and that's something I have to really cover. That is something I've got to cover a, a lot, but if you want to know more about season one of this event, I do have a playlist in the description that I made about a year ago when it dropped on KMS, so yeah, this is something that you really need to take advantage of. So, after asking my buddy Chad to get an invite of two players, which are 230 and 250, so the leveling scale is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I am probably going to die for the most part. Um, so, okay, I just lost track right there. I lost my focus right there. But anyway, quick move, party play, uh, Commercial Republic. We're going to be going to channel one, so let me tell that. Uh, so, in, you know, in order to change channels in, you know, the voyages and whatnot, well, first you have to come in here and make sure you already did your quest on or whatnot. I do advise players to be at least level 200 of sort, uh, only because, you know, they can scale better with mobs, even though 201 is probably still really low. Uh, but once you 
talk to this NPC, you click move to merchant trade union, and then she teleports you there. She teleports you to channel 1, 2, or 3 randomly, but luckily I got teleported to channel 1. Um, once you teleport to a channel, or you know a random channel, you can click a move to another channel, and you know click first, second, or third. But in this case we are in first, uh, so I, you do have to negotiate to your party since you have 3 runs a day, which one you're going to be taking. Um, I will take first run. So we'll have, let's say, Pizza take second run, and then Cruxies take third. Uh, pick whatever, you know, so... Okay, Pizza second, yeah, so that's how it goes. Basically what that means is, you get all the drops in the first run if you pick first, and then another player gets all the drops in the second run if they pick second, but you gotta proceed with the trade union first. So, we got Hunter's Way. I know, I'm not sure if this is good or not, but, um, uh, we'll see. And we'll see how bad I'm going to get my ass kicked through level scaling. I'm already, yep, 25k touch, 27k touch damage. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm actually literally about to die. And then, this is ridiculous. I'm going to have to take this a little more seriously. Because, you know, it's been a, pff, I'm already dead. This is, uh, <laughs> pizza knows I'm recording too, so... This is what happens when you're not a part of level scaling. You do virtually no damage against the mobs, and they destroy you like it's absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, so, Hunter's Way seems to have a lot of boss, I mean, a lot of mobs, and ooh, a cube. So, first run, I loot everything. Not really many bosses, only one boss. I know, I think there's a, what is it, Silk Way? I think that's the best one. Uh, and then gold way, if you get gold way, you kind of want to just smash your head on a desk because it's not really good. But everybody who does run the voyage does get Denaro, whether it be between like five to seven per run. Um, so this is going to be Cruxy's run. So everything that drops in this run, Cruxy gets looted. Now I do also want to say that there is a chance that you can get something known as sweet water gear from the bosses you know from here as well you can get it from solo voyages um ah this is a gold way so yeah okay so it gives me more time to explain so we have sweet water gear right you are able to get the hat the shoe the glove the cape the overall the weapon so the drop rate is very very low like i said before uh, if a weapon drops, it's going to be a completely random weapon, so if you get one for your class, consider yourself lucky as hell. Although, Sweetwater weapons aren't really that good in this day and age. We kind of just go to Fafnir, and then once we're, you know, up on top, we kind of transition over to Arcane. Let me, let me try to contribute here, um, but <laughs> I'm really contributing well. Um, anyway, as I was saying... I did once before get a shoe on the Xenon do a voyage. Um, I think shoes are worth like 1.5 to 2 bill right now, so I did kind of make some money off of that. I haven't sold a shoe yet, I'm pretty sure it's just chilling in storage, but you know, I kind of just wanted to list that. Um, so you can also get cubes, like I said, and it's a pure item crystals. So, and you know, spare denaro, which will help the progression to get sweet water tattoos and monocle for that easy dough that you can get. Um, so, but that's the important of voyages. Voyages are something that does indeed help boost your player progression with all the cubes that you get, possible sweet water. It's all good stuff. Um, so, you know, consider yourself lucky if you do get some of those. And at the end of the day, if you don't really get anything good, at least you got Denaro. And that's, you know, pretty good. So, you know, some people just run it just to get the Denaro. Um, but some people might actually run it because they are legitimately trying to farm for sweet water gear and whatnot. And this dude only got a superior item crystal, so yeah, that's uh the flaws of Goldway. You're on it for two minutes only just to get one boss. And if you get nothing good then that's it. But like I said, if you get Silkway, then you're pretty much blessed. Like you were the luckiest person in the party. <laughs> uh so anyway, Remember, after you finish your run, before you are able to even enter again, you have to claim reward. Claim rewards. All three party members have to claim the reward before entering. And we get Silkway, so this is Pizza's run. So Pizza lucked out. So this is like the boss run. This run pretty. I think it has like three bosses here. Um, 
and he's still going on about it so <laughs> shout out to let boys um so you know second boss although unfortunately he is only getting missile bags so it's not really going too well for him uh his superior item crystal yeah that's really that's really about it and i think we're on yeah we're done with silkway silkway just three bosses straight up and you're done you have the highest chance to get any item but apparently <laughs> I got the best run here since I got the cube for my run. Um, so that's how CBQ works. So without further ado, let's talk about Codex. Just to kind of toot my own horn a little bit. I wasn't playing about the Sweetwater shoe. I did luck out quite a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than sell it eventually. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Sweetwater shoe is actually in game as well. Transpose from Tyrant. But like I said, that's like... In the future something that I'm probably not even gonna be able to cover because it's so far away but we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see what goes down in the uh, world of Kuwapakis and uh, Xenon journey now this next thing we have is the Crusader codex so there's gonna be a tab in your uh, keyboard shortcut called monster book right here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that and you have access to your crusader codex number of cards i think that's 94 i don't know if that's like a one there because i know i don't have 941 uh, but right here we have sets these are all of the cards that you have collected um throughout your entire maple journey cards have a very very high drop rate it's almost guaranteed uh so that's nothing you really have to worry about but the one we are mainly focused on is leaf Reap. Basically, you get all skill levels plus one, not to be confused with combat orders, because if skills are at level 30, they will stay level 30 with the skill. This only applies to skills that are not maxed, so keep that in mind. But what's important is below it. Ignores 30% on the monster's weapon slash magic defense when attacking. 30% IED? Uh, yes? Are you kidding me? This is definitely a requirement. Either this or... I believe it was like future Hennesis or something that gave like 3% attacker. Um, I, I had to double check. I know there was one that gave 3% attack. I just don't. Oh yeah, Hennesis Ruins. So 3% attack here. Pretty sure you have to kill Cygnus and get all these. But uh, I'm not really going to bother with this one. But you could choose between 3% IED or I mean 30% IED or 3% attack. But I honestly wholeheartedly believe that 30% IED is much better. Uh, so basically for this, you have to kill 33 monsters in Leafy Codex and collect, or in Leafy and collect their Codex. This includes all mobs, all fueled bosses, such as Manon, Griefy, and Leviathan. It also includes Horntail, and it includes Dragonor and Dragon Rider from the Dragon Rider party quest, which yet again is going to require three people who need this party quest and it's gonna be a shit show too because you are very very prone to disconnections in dragon rider it's been bugged like that for years and they just simply haven't bothered to fix it yet uh so without further ado we have to kill beetles dual beetles rash dark rash how i'm not gonna go over all these you could just kind of <laughs> scroll through um and then search up their names on the world map and then type in where you want to go um or type in the name of the monster like we'll do beetle level 103 right here don't have a hyper teleport rock so we can't go although thanks to star squad 13 over here we get a free hyper teleport rock well not free but with the percentage of 15 points we get a one day hyper teleport rock coupon you can even buy this every day if you want to in your main because this is very very worth in my honest opinion it really is um so we can just go over to beetles really really easily right head on over here kill like only a few really let me switch that up and there it is right there there is my card and boom, we're at 6 out of 33. And this applies for basically all of the mobs. Uh, but for the most part, let me show you where Manit and Griffy are. Uh, so this is Manit's forest. You can't really go there um, with the Hyper Rock. But you can head over there with... Uh, or head over to the back next to it with the Hyper Rock. 
And for the most part, the boss should be spawned if it's not kill one monster. And it should spawn, kill Manon, he drops the card, there you go. If you want to have, if you want to have access to Griffey or Manon, this map right here is like a little crossover between both bosses. So, let me go in here. This map seems capped out on spawn. Hit this dude, there's Griffey, kill Griffey, get his card, and that's it. Now for Liviathan, it's going to be in a, it's like some sort of secret map. Um, I don't necessarily remember, oh, you can't teleport anywhere from this map. Um, I don't necessarily remember if uh, the hidden street was going to be located here or another map. It was either at the top or bottom of a map. But I know he doesn't appear in any map shown on the world map, so I'm gonna have to check. Ooh, there it is, right there. So as you as you saw, um, let me kill a couple mobs here real quick. Up here, up here, the Viathan shoes. Wait, no, this is Blue Wyvern's nest. G give me a minute. <laughs> I'm already nuts. Okay, scratch that. I have uh, completely messed up on that. If you guys are watching and you know what you're doing, I'm so <laughs> sorry that I've made this mistake. But let me show you where Liviathan truly is, okay? Uh, now open this up. Use your handy dandy hyper and teleport rock to go over to, the, to go to Wyvern's Canyon. And it should be located right here. It's a hidden portal, so you just press up. Now we have Liviathan's Canyon. There's no monsters spawned in this map. Well, there's Liviathan right there. I lied. Uh, but just shoot him once, shoot him dead, get that, get that, and now you have all the mini bosses. So you can go ahead and double check. So, set, the free, 10 out of 13, and we got all the mini bosses. Uh, so now, before I start doing Dragon Rider and show you guys how to do Dragon Rider, it's going to include pre-quest and all that other nasty fancy shit, uh, you are going to have to collect other cards. And you already know how to navigate around with it, use the hyper teleport rock if you have one. And so on and so forth. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get the rest of these cards real quick. It takes like 10 minutes at most, really. It was a really, really fast process with the Hopper Teleport Rock. Otherwise, it would have taken much longer. But we are at 31 out of 33. Now, why they had to put Dragon Rider in here is beyond me. It is the most annoying and frustrating thing possible. Why is this even a thing? But I can't really argue about it because it's not going to change. So we don't really have a choice but to do it. Now, in order to begin, uh, we have to go to Dark Corny. Well, hold on. Let's head on over to Leafree first because I don't remember if there was a quest we have to pick up at Leafree or... Okay, so Chief Tatamo. Level 150, the Dragon Rider's Identity. So for this, you must be at least level 150 in order to begin this. So, click on this, start this, accept this quest here, and now go to the forest that disappeared. So now this is where we teleport to this map. The forest that disappeared with Dark Cornians. Um, so, the portal that you want to go to is located in here. And here we will meet Matata. Uh, let me get back up here real quick. So clear this quest here with Matata. And after that, we should get a new quest. Which, you know, you have to bring him ingredients, right? Rash's Furball, Sunset Dew, Dragon Essence, and Beetle's Horn. Now the Dragon Essence comes from... Give me a moment. Let's go ahead and start off with the Rash for a bar in the Beetle's Horn, since that's basically what we know what's how to do and where to get them. Uh, but it's been a while since I've done this, so maybe they do drop from the Rash. Speak of the devil. Uh, so they do drop from the Rashes and probably the Beetles as well. So you do need 40 of these for balls and 10 of those Dragon Essences there. Uh, then after you do that, you go over to the Beetle map. And then once you go to the beetle map, you have to collect 40 of their horns. And then go to the NPC shop, spend about 10k meso to get a sunset dew. And then go back to the forest that disappeared, go into the map, and then talk to Matato once again. Okay, so they do both drop from matches and beetles. I just got my 10th dragon essence and my 40th uh, beetle horn. So now all we need is a sunset dew. So we will go ahead, go over here in this map. Talk to Sly. 
scroll down give us sunset do boom we're done and then we go back and I think this quest is what grants us the soaring skill which is used for Dragon Rider uh, but I'm not necessarily so sure just yet so there he is right here talk to him okay so it's not um, but we do have you know the next quest in mind go to Chief Tomo leaf free and bring back a dragon moss extract uh, so basically this is pretty straightforward as well teleport to leaf free Chief Tomo um, dragon nearest horn that's uh, a bonus quest from Dragon Rider but anyway so let me let me go ahead and repeat that process get that quest go to Chief Tomo um, Misk, I would like to ask you something. Find the ingredients for the Flag Potion Dragon Moss Extract. So, we have done that. We've already met Batata. And I believe this is where we have to pay a certain fee. I... Uh, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought we were gonna have to pay up a little bit there. I guess that's not really how I remember the quest. Maybe you're almost confusing that for something else. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, all you really have to do is talk to Chief, and that's about it. Go over to the NPC and finish towards the sky. We have obtained the soaring skill. And with that, we are finally prepared to go to Dragon Rider. We have finished the prequest. The soaring skill is going to be in your beginner tab, and it lets you fly. You pretty much fly but in this map only so don't get it twisted you can't fly anywhere although I really wish you could uh, so this is the portal that lets you enter the PQ you need to have at least three people so when you are running with three people who don't have the codex don't just take one run for yourself and leave that's scummy don't do that don't be that guy uh, make sure you help out the other two even after you have gotten your card just so you know, y'all can work together as a team. Kind of like what y'all started this for anyway. So, without further ado, it is time I find some people to do Dragon Rider with. Took a little bit longer to get three people for this. And I'm even not necessarily sure if they need it or not. So, uh, let me go ahead and ask them real quick. Do you guys need cards? And for the most part, if they don't, then they are running just for me. I am flattered, by the way. Free to free to play player, solo, alone. Uh, so one person doesn't need cards other okay, so they're pretty much running this for me I uh, am very very happy about that. So 230 250 once again I'm gonna get my ass beat unless it scales to like a maximum level of some sort um, But I also have to really hope that I don't disconnect. That's uh, the major thing here in this situation. So Okay, so they met cap out at 169 for <laughs> whatever random reason um, So I don't really have to worry too much about that this is stage one you're basically just flying through stage two once again you are flying through with a really random uh griffy that should be up here waiting to just simply beat your ass but um should be up here probably just go ahead and blast him <laughs> no reason whatsoever just use the skill and then we have the boss which should be guaranteed to drop the card so i'll go ahead and take it for my own self. I'm still trying to remember what button my soaring is on, uh, but we should be at 32 out of 33 now. And then here's this part right here, which is honestly really annoying because if you get hit by the rocks, you get stunned. So, and I, oh, okay. I just had a really long no hit streak and I kind of just got fucked over there towards the end. But at the same time, I should be fine. So now this is where the boss is. Go ahead and put out my uh, summons and boss is dead. I get my card and boom! Leafy Codex is 33 out of 33. And since you guys don't need to run, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for the run. I finally have my Leafy Codex and I couldn't do it without these people. So that's how that works out. So now it should be over here at set. There we go, 33 out of 33. Use set effect, and now, boom. Now it's got a little unique potential effect to it. 
And because of that, we do have 30% IED and it puts our total IED at 74. And it can still be much higher, considering that my pendant expired. So I am going to have to collect more reward points to be able to get another pendant slot and then get this pendant back. So shouldn't really be much of a hassle. I think we should probably be closer to 80-ish or so once we get this back. So we're making some decent progress and there's going to be a lot more sources of IED that we can get as well. And then we'll be able to take on stronger bosses after we get some fundings as well because you know it's still not going to be easy that's when i'm going to talk more about the uh v matrix system a little bit and actually buying no stones and whatnot but that is a very very long way to go yet again we still have so much to cover before even going into link skills uh but just remember um if you are watching this before may 15th Make sure you farm Battle Reverse Young Characters, you farm 200 Stardust or 200 Galaxy Stars, buy the character select, buy the character coupon, uh, make a new character for a class that you haven't made yet, so you can already be on a head start in a future episode, get it to level 33, because that's the level you need to be for events, uh, accept all the Star Squad 13 events, go in, do Battle Reverse -y, get 200 Galaxy Stars, buy a character slot coupon, and then make a new character and just keep repeating the process make sure all the new characters you are making are that of a different class now whether i'm gonna take advantage or not really just depends on my mood if i'm you know too lazy to do it we'll, we'll kind of see what happens uh, uh but i am letting you guys know right now that that is a decent way to get as many character slots as possible and you will get it done personally for me i kind of just get them naturally so we'll kind of just see how it flows I'm not really going to start off with too many links at first, but at the same time, like I said, we'll see how we'll get by with things. Especially with ARC update this summer, they should have another character, character slot coupon. And if I want to take advantage of that, I will take advantage of that. But for now, I'm not really sure if I have this time slot to be able to. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe if you have it, that is if you want to. And uh, I will bring back some more content to you guys later. Peace out, everybody.